Guten Morgen Vlogmas. If you didn't watch yesterday's vlog, I'll fill you in. Last night I sat down to read in bed and then I fell the heck asleep. Rosie, you're not hungry? You just meowed at me for like 20 minutes. My camera has to charge, so sorry for abrupt change in quality, but I love this sweater so much that it's so severely cropped that I can't even raise my arms because my boobs will fall out. So I had an idea for this outfit last night and I want to see if it slaps. If it doesn't, we're going to pretend this never happened. I'm still wearing PJ pants, so that kind of kills the vibe, but like, cute question mark? Popped collar, sweater, that's a thing now, right? I'm gonna wait till y'all tell me tomorrow if I should wear this to work, cause I'm too nervous. Yesterday, Ryan, my coworker, came to work in a suit. And I stick to business casual, but I wanted to one up him. Maybe I should go to work today like this. I don't know how I feel about this outfit. I love this skirt to death, but the shirt's like frumpy. I don't, <sighs> fuck it, I'm wearing it. outfit now i have 15 minutes to do my makeup and what is happening over there i don't know what happened but in the time span of doing my foundation my shirt is filthy so i guess i'm not wearing this outfit <laughs> so i need to go change but really quick i just want to update you on my life and tell you what i'm currently reading what the plans are for today how my christmas is going right now i am 18 pages into a book called on earth we're briefly gorgeous it is a fiction book in a format where the main character is writing a letter to his mother. His mother is an immigrant from Vietnam. She escaped the war, and so it's this reflection of both of their lives, and it's beautiful. Yesterday was my three-month anniversary at work, so I have my 90-day review today. Hopefully, I still have a job by the end of the day. And then today for lunch, Ryan, Kristen, and I are going out to eat, so I'll probably get some footage then. I'm still in Thanksgiving mode, though. I do not want to go to work. I love the people there. I'll sit there all day and talk to the people, but having to coordinate things and we have events coming up that I have to talk to people about, I'm rather I'd rather just either do it myself or not talk to anyone. Well, Rose. Good morning. Hi. When you break the water machine. <laughs> I'm about to get a burrito. I'm so happy. Shout out to Bug Bug. <laughs> this is like carpool karaoke. Yes! Oh my gosh, you put it up! We're at Starbucks right now because I'm a needy bitch and I had a bad day and I want to get a caramel frap. I didn't have a bad day, I just got my feeling hurt once. <laughs> my one feeling. My feelings hurt once. Do you have something to say or are you just miming everything I talk about? Say that again. Never <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll get my own little fan club. Yeah. I just want to get a shot of me getting my drink. Nothing we say right now matters because I'm going to cut it out. Hello. I'm kind of offended that nobody told me that I did a full face of makeup and completely forgot to put on mascara the other day. I hate that. When? What? <laughs> on Monday. I don't notice that stuff. Mascara is the stuff for the eyelashes, right? Yeah. Yes. Today I put on an outfit, but I didn't know if it would look good until I put my hair down because it changes everything. So like little things That's matter. True. A few moments later. Thank you. You guys have a great day. Thank you. If we get in trouble because we're like an hour late back to the mm -hmm. office, it's because I stopped for a frap. I am for sure gonna get a comment that's like, "You didn't bring any reusable cup. You're using a plastic straw." Well, this person needs to hurry the fuck up. <laughs> when you get free flowers at work, be like. Yes. <laughs> I only have good vlogs on the days you're here because I don't want to pull up my camera around my oh, boss and be like, hey guys, I'm at lunch. <laughs> Reading my porn book at lunch. <laughs> oh, sorry. Collision. <laughs> Kristen has a presentation. Sorry, I'm just burping. Are you filming? Yeah, she's just showing us how to spell her name. This is where it gets really tricky. Is it an E? Is it an I? Is it a Y? 
<laughs> Give me a K. We're not gonna go through the whole thing. <laughs> Why do people think we're gay? <laughs> when no one's in the office so you can play Frozen. Here's the outfit of the day after I changed this morning. The CEO complimented my pants, so that's something. So I wrote down a list today of all the things people suggested that I talk about. Then I left that list on my desk and I'm too lazy to go back upstairs. A lot of people want to know about my job. Basically, if you think that you missed like the vlog where I talked about where I work, you didn't. <laughs> I haven't told my YouTube where I work, kind of just for privacy. I'm typically super, super, super open. And I told myself like I'm not gonna vlog at work in the future like I did whenever I was interning last summer because it came off really unprofessional. And yet here I am. So that was kind of one of the reasons why I didn't want to disclaim where I work because I just want to be more private and more professional. But I'm just saying if one of y'all finds out where I work or it gets out somehow, I'm not gonna be upset. I'll just like let it be a thing. But I'm gonna keep it to myself for now. That's not an invitation for y'all to go sleuthing. But yeah, people are asking about work-life balance. I don't know how to articulate this, but my life's not perfect. I still get mad at myself for not planning out my day right or like wasting my time on my phone and just shit like that So I'm happy that you guys can look at my life and see like oh she looks like she's having a great time with her job And like she looks like she's having fun. She has her in her place. I'm so proud of her. I appreciate all of that But I just want to disclaim there's still like I get mad at myself all the time for feeling like I'm not doing good enough like my apartment is consistently filthy I try not to show that off, but there's still some things that since I moved in in the beginning of September, I, no, the end of September, I still haven't organized and I still haven't touched. And maybe that's a video one day to motivate myself to clean. Did y'all enjoy that cleaning montage I did yesterday? That's some of my favorite YouTube content to watch. <laughs> Support for the boys with the booming system, top down AC with the cool system. When it come up with the club, it blazing up. Because stacks on tight, like saving up. You can't even see me. Just the sunlight, God's presence in the background is shining through. Someone wanted to know what types of jobs they could do as an English major, and that's something that I have a lot of thoughts on. So if you're an English major, tune in. If you're not tune in. So the biggest hurdle I came across as an English major trying to go into marketing, which by the way, there's more than you can do than just marketing, but that's where I was. The biggest hurdle I had to overcome was that I was competing with people who had marketing degrees. Like that was their thing. So the way that I sold myself, and I think the way you have to sell yourself if you're an English major, is that writing is such a hot commodity and such like a necessary skill to have. And it's really valuable, but people devalue it or undervalue it all the time. If you can sell yourself as a story storyteller that's the end because no matter where you work being a good communicator being able to adjust your tone in the way that you write depending on the audience knowing your company's branding and the way that they write and being able to adjust that as needed like all of those are really really specific skills that are highly valuable and that's all sort of marketing and branding but as far as what you can do with an English degree other than just copywriting and general marketing you could go into PR you could go into journalism there's so many positions I was interviewing for that are like agency positions where you write all the copy for other organizations and you just work for one central company. And the thing I learned about being an English major is it doesn't necessarily matter if it fits within the description of your major. It's whatever experience you have. I would highly recommend supporting your English major with some type of internship. It was a big ass struggle for me to get hired after I graduated because I felt like no one cared about the fact that I knew grammar. Okay car that just cut in front of me and almost hit me. No one cared that I knew grammar. They all wanted to know if I had technical experience and all this other stuff I didn't have. Which there's no good ending to that story so I don't know why I went there. But like, you just, just be confident. So those are my topics of the day about work. I'm sorry I didn't really go anywhere with that. I'm gonna turn on my jams now and sing music and I will talk to you when I get home. So I'm home, I have my flowers all set out. Looks a little messy because I did it quickly, but it's fine. <laughs> what are we talking about? Everything? Yep. 
when I was walking into my building to get my mail, there were two women walking toward me and one of them saw me holding like five bouquets of flowers and went, oh, you shouldn't have. And I gave her one. I was like, I get these for free from work. But the book mail haul for today is these three. I was gonna make a rule for myself where if it comes in a box, I'm gonna wrap it and put it under the tree. But if it comes in a bag, I'm gonna unbox it. But now I'm thinking a lot of them are gonna come in bags and I wanna put them in like a little present box or whatever, I don't know. I don't wanna open them all, but I am really curious because you can kind of see the outline of this one. It's like a pink or orange cover with like a dark blob on it. I'm trying to remember what book this might be. Do you know what book it is? You're not supposed to be on the counter. Are we hungry? Your dinner time is supposed to be at 6 o'clock, but I keep giving it to you early. So I have decided that tonight, instead of being like, boohoo, I don't have time to do anything, I have to clean my apartment, I'm going to give myself one hour to read. So from 5.30 to 6.30, I'm going to sit my ass on my couch by my Christmas tree and read my book. I've got my massive water bottle and I've got my book. I promise I'm still reading. I just got up to feed the cats because they were yelling at me. But while I was sitting in my chair by the window, I heard tires squeal and then a crash. And now there's police and an ambulance outside. So like I legit just heard a crash outside. I hope they're okay. I always feel terrible when I see accidents like so close to Christmas and stuff. But I'm reading my book. I've discovered that I like reading it out loud. Because this author's first book was poetry, he writes he writes very segmented and it's very comma heavy because he interjects a ton, which almost to me reads like little stanzas and lines. So it, it flows really well out loud. And so I'm literally reading it out loud to my cats. <laughs> but there are some gorgeous quotes and I'm only on page 30, so I'm really loving it. I'm a piece of shit who is full of shit and you should never trust a word that comes out of my mouth. I read for like 20 minutes and I was just on my phone. But now it's almost dead, so when it dies, I'll be focused. Mama's hungry. I think I'm gonna make some tater tots, a veggie burger, and have the rest of my couscous. Okay, I told myself I would wait, but the anticipation's killing me. I wanna know what's in this. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm like using my detective skills to see what this could be. There's a line here, a stamp in the corner, it's like a thin paperback. I don't know what it could be and it's killing me. <gasps> see, I could have guessed this. <laughs> Who's this from? This is from Jordan. It said, this book's made me cry at least a dozen times. Hope you enjoy, love your videos. We should become real life best friends. Honestly, after this, come over, like dinner's on me. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Jordan, thank you. The book I got is There There by Tammy or Tommy. Tommy, wow, cannot read cursive. So this book is adult fiction. It is about 12 different figures in different native communities and they're all traveling to go to a powwow. I like this line of the synopsis. It says, this chorus of voices tells of the plight of the urban Native American grappling with a complex and painful history with an inheritance of beauty and spirituality. I have heard raving praise about this. Also, Todd Moffey read this and loved it, so that was all I needed to hear. I've had my eye on it since then, and it's actually a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be, and I probably would have never guessed that this was the book inside there, so I'm happy. It's a good surprise. Thank you, Jordan, for the early present. I mean, it's early because I opened it early. Actually, speaking of Amazon presents, before I forget for the third day in a row, let me do my daily buying a follower a gift. So, if you didn't watch the first vlog, Miss you wouldn't know, but I decided that to give back this season, I want to go through my followers wish lists that they sent me on Twitter and get a couple people some of my favorite books. So I'm gonna get two people separate things, one for day two, one for day three. Do I need to do one for today? We're doing three today. <laughs> and as always, I just clicked random wish lists. I don't know who these are going to. First one, let's see if they have any of my faves. Oh, this one's Mika, she has her photo on it. She's Sorcery of Thorns, done. I'm getting it for her. And we ordering. Mika, I hope you enjoy your book. Okay, we're on the hunt for person number two to buy a book for. Oh my gosh, Heather sent me hers. I just saw that this is who I'm scrolling through. Oh, on Heather's, I spot the Tea Dragon Society. Wait, that means she's gonna watch this vlog and know I got it for her. Don't watch this. And clicking order now. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through people who I don't know, because I've been going through people who I do, which is a crazy coincidence. Okay, now I'm on a random person. I don't know who this is. 
Okay, they have the unhoneymooners, so I'm gonna get that for them. That's a good price too, go check that out. <laughs> so this is the person from day four who's getting their present. And that one is all ordered. Here's the placement email. It's ordered. <gasps> Gordo, get your nasty pussy lips off my straw. I have to stop saying pussy lips. I said it as a joke and now I can't stop. <laughs> To all the people who have books in the mail coming for them, thank you so much for watching my videos and following me on Twitter. Hope you have a Merry Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate. And if that's not at all, then just happy book reading. Sir, do you have a permit for all that purring? Do you have a permit? Ha 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 ha. He's like unsubscribed down below. So tonight I kind of flopped. I watched TikToks and laid in bed for like four hours. <laughs>